Home. Now, Ian Black is a uh, frequent uh, submitter of, uh, of poetry to this show, and uh, we've got one of his as well, so uh, here's, here's the latest offering from Ian Black. <coughs> we all sit in comfortably and quietly, please. <coughs> so if you've got a cup of tea, it might be a, a nice idea to, to maybe take a sip of it now, stimulate the brain. <sighs> Once there was a barren hall in still and silent grey that stood in callous apathy of all that stirs the soul. Within walked only sombre woe and whispered none but dusk until I dined in fantasy and vision ruled my will. I saw a chamber pure in grace with towering walls of gold and every sound that echoed there would ring a tender song. I was to be the architect to craft Elysium and what I drew was gleaming bliss, the blueprint of a dream. Brick was laid upon foundation but my enraptured mind. These hands would lay each timber beam and form my swelling cell. My ruin lay in gilded halls to build and be entombed. To ever walk the labyrinth where once I sought a dream. A bit different there from, uh, from Ian Black. Uh, I mean, he, oh, he's always conjure up images of... People like to, I suppose it's called the labyrinth, so it's easy to say David Bowie, but sort of gothic imagery. A uh, very strong gothic imagery from, uh, from Ian Black's poems. Um, Ian Black says, I like to mix up the style. I mean, that was a different type of offering there, wasn't it, from, from Ian Black? That poem, The Labyrinth? Hmm. Are, you, are you a fan of the poetry there, uh, Elliot? I don't mind poetry, I just never understand it. What about Ian Black stuff? Do you like that? Yeah, I think Ian's... Because he's a talented lad, isn't he? He's talented, yeah. He genuinely is sort of... Uh, of all the ones we get in, he's the, he's the best. Yeah, there's, a, there's definitely a skill to it. Yeah, he's, I think he's... Uh, I mean, I don't know whether I'm just soft or what, but I think he's good. I'm not saying I'm a great judge of this stuff, because I probably ain't. But I think he's got something there. I think if, I, I could imagine seeing that published. Poetry well, with depth is nice. He seems, he's got depth, hasn't he? Yeah. Oh, Blackie, he's got depth? Yeah. Maybe um, something that you can relate to. That's uh, like that, that. Yeah, yeah, something you can relate to, definitely. Yeah. And I, I like sort of ones that... I imagine Ian Black writing his poetry uh, as the mist rises on a dark moor. No, I, I see him on a tropical island looking out to the sea. Really? Yeah. But he's always... He's, has, he's have a sort of gothic feel to them, a sort of... Almost like a, an underlying malignant force. We should ask him, where does he get his inspiration from? Yeah, Blackie, where did you get your ins- inspiration from, mate? Well, tweet me. Where's, where's all this coming from? What inspires you? And what do you? Where do you write your poetry? If it is it more akin to a, a sunny beach or a, or a dark, misty moor? I imagine him like in. Um, I imagine him. He makes me think of stuff like Sleepy Hollow, like Ichabod Crane, and things like that. Wow. That's the sort of imagery I conjure up. That sort of graveyards. Very things. dark place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tell you what, I love walking through graveyards. What? Yeah, lovely, real peaceful places. Well, they should be. Everybody's dead.